Hi guys and dolls. So today's video is a show and tell video for the Mac and Disney Venomous Villains collection. For those of you who don't know, I'm like really super excited about this collection. I'm a huge Disney freak. I think a lot of people uh, grow up watching Disney films, like cartoon, the Disney cartoon movies and stuff, and we grow attached to those characters and really hate the villains. We have a Disney villains poster in our living room and everything. We just we love it. Like a few months ago or something, there was like a link on Twitter that was floating around and it was actually a teaser trailer that was put out by Mac to show the villains that were going to be in the collection. And when I saw Maleficent was in it, I was like, ah! and I started like foaming at the mouth. I don't think any of that actually really happened, but I was really excited. I love Disney films as a whole, but... Uh, Maleficent was especially close to my heart since uh, when I first started dating my husband I had a hard time sleeping at his house sometimes because just you know new environment and such and so he would actually play Sleeping Beauty for me to make me go to sleep I know it's so cute I'm just gonna vomit from the cuteness of that so the villains promoted with this collection are the evil queen from Snow White which I believe was D Disney's first um, full-length animated feature film thingy. Then we have Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty, Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians, and can I just say that like, I don't know, I, I naturally want, this is my only excuse. It took me until like a couple days ago to realize that Cruella de Vil, Cruel Devil, like, it just went over my head for like most of my life. So, I feel really stupid about that. The last character is, um, and forgive me if I mispronounce this, uh, Dr. Facilier, I believe, or, f yeah, from Princess and the Frog. A lot of people haven't seen it, didn't get a lot of, like, press and stuff, and if you haven't seen it, uh, you kind of need to, because it's awesome. And a lot of people were kind of upset that they included him. I think that he was a great choice, uh, for a lot of different reasons, you know, we have Snow White, which is from their first one, then we have the most recent villain, we have a male in the mix, and uh, we have a African American in the mix. So I think that that was a really cool, good choice. I just want to kind of show you guys the things that I got. Hey, I just want to interject really quick right here and say that if you want to stay tuned at the end of the video, there will be a big ol' huge whopping block of swatches and pictures of everything so plenty of makeup porn for your viewing pleasure uh, and then also throughout the video I'm going to be showing uh, like like swatches on my hand really quick so hopefully that's helpful for you guys and uh, you can see how things look like when they're built up a little bit as opposed to when they're just done really quick so yeah uh, back to your regularly scheduled programming then cool cool all right so I'm going to start where do I start hmm uh, I'm gonna start with the nail polish. I got mean and green and uh, Unfortunately on camera, it doesn't show up how it looks in real life in real life uh, in the bottle It looks like a pinky purple greeny bronzy Multichrome color. It's really really cool. I have it on my nails and I painted it over black So it's not true to color. I originally planned on getting bad fairy, which I actually have right here my middle finger and I might go back and get Bad Fairy because I really do like it but I think that Mean and Green is the one where the, the color changes the most obvious and it changes more as you move your fingers so that was the one that really interested me plus Mean and Green is Maleficent and yeah Bad Fairy is also really good uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back and get it <laughs> I mean let's not lie I'm a huge like fairy like I love fairies and I collect like fairy figurines and stuff so who am I kidding? I need that. Such a makeup freak. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to show you is the blush or like the cheek stuff. So I got two different things. I got the beauty powder in Oh So Fair. And I don't have a pressed beauty powder like this. So this is a first for me. Looks like this. And um, beauty powders don't have a lot of color payoff. So I'm going to swirl that in there twice and I kind of ran over my hand twice and you can see it doesn't have a lot of payoff and I don't think it's meant to um, it's just meant to kind of be like a sheer wash so I would think that that would be good if like you use a foundation that's a little too yellow for you kind of go over it with a pink color or um, a lot of companies do this where they come out with like rosy powders or rosy primers and stuff like that since that kind of rosy complexion looks youthful I think it's really kind of pretty and there you go, there's an up close shot of the evil queen. Rah, ah, ah. Okay, and so uh, I also got the blush called Bite of an Apple. This is also from the evil queen's portion of the collection. 
and it's a very bright matte coral. Anyway, there you go. Nice bright coral blush. Very, very pretty. I was super excited about this. I've been really into coral blushes lately. In fact, I've been wearing free to be eyeshadow on my cheeks lately, but now I'll wear this. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed with their choice of what goes on what. I think that like this pattern with like the apple should have been on the bite of an apple blush. I mean, call me crazy. I think that this dramatic one would have been better suited on the beauty powder, but that's just my opinion and yeah, whatever. So speaking of packaging, I just want to show you a couple of the boxes. Some things didn't come with like special packaging, like this is just like the nail polish just came with like a boring box, but some of it actually had really cool packaging. So this is my bite of an apple blush box the evil queen on it so cool i don't want to throw away the boxes whenever mac comes out with like special um edition packaging i never depot the products and sometimes i keep the boxes if they're pretty <laughs> so and then this one is purple with male maleficent on it love it so excited even my head okay like you guys my my husband's like a guy guy and even he was like dude that's really cool and he totally took pictures of it to show his mom because she they're all disney freaks so Okay, we're nerdy in my family, get over it. So, okay, the next thing I wanna show you is the mineralized eyeshadows. So excited about these. I just, I can't even like verbalize how excited I am. Um, for one, I just like the mineralized eyeshadows in general. I have like a little mini collection of them. I, I like the textures, I like that they're really easy to apply wet or dry. And once you've used them wet, they're still easy to use dry, whereas with like regular eyeshadows, sometimes like it forms like kind of like a crust and you really can't use it dry anymore. Uh, they're also really generously sized. Uh, I want to show you, these are actually uh, bigger than regular mineralized eyeshadows. So just for reference purposes, here's a regular MAC eyeshadow. Just an eyeshadow like this. And then we have a mineralized eyeshadow. This is just a mineralized single from last year. I think this is from Style Black. It's called Young Punk. And I'm going to get to a comparison with this one in just a moment. But just for right now, I want to compare sizes. This here is My Dark Magic. And this is Young Punk, and a lot of people were comparing the two. And I just want to show you the huge size difference. And then also with the MAC eyeshadow. So I think um, that's really awesome that they give you like a really big one. And also, uh, the, these mineralized eyeshadow duos are more expensive than the mineralized eyeshadow products usually are, but they're also much larger. So I think that justifies the price. Plus, um, hello, Maleficent's on the front. <laughs> no duh, I had to have it. So, um, and beyond that, the green and the blue one is encompassing something that I wanted MAC to do for a really long time, and that's a sparkly, glittery, glittery green-black shadow. MAC did not disappoint you guys uh, I actually wore it earlier and uh, I ended up having to remove it because I just did it really quick and really sloppy just to play around with it and now my eyes watering otherwise I would have been wearing it in this but my eyes are just like really teary today so I didn't want to waste my makeup basically anyway so this is the uh, she who dares duo it's this beautiful blue and green uh, glitter gorgeous oh god I love it okay so let me go and swatch these for you this is the green that's one swipe, people. Let's do another one. And yeah, it didn't even improve it much. Like these are these are just really pigmented. And then I'm gonna do the blue for you. So yeah, and if you if you wanted these to be like super black based, you could just use a black base with them. But I honestly like them kind of how they are, where they're uh, like a sheer wash of black. It can go over like colored like a really bright green or something really well. Ooh, ooh, I'm like seeing it in my head with like sassy grass and bottled green. Ooh, love it, can't wait to play around with it more. The other one that came out with it, uh, this one's called My Dark Magic. It is a pink and purple uh, color schematic here and let me go ahead and swatch them for you. I'm gonna do the dark purple side uh, first, that little, the little piece right there. And I think my hand's still a little bit wet from me using a wipe, so these ones are going to turn out a little bit more intense. But if you're going to use it on your eye, I would recommend using it with like a base or something. I don't have any base on my hand, so I think this is pretty true to what you're going to get. So 
see it there's the dark the darker like the smaller piece and then the pinky part now i'm gonna compare it to young punk eyeshadow that came out last year i know a lot of people are hoping that um my dark magic will be a good replacement for young punk i think young punk's a bit different it's more glittery yeah you can really see that's just one swipe with young punk which is less black and more glittery i did play around with my dark magic on my eye a little bit and it didn't uh retain its glitteriness but it's really really pretty and i love it i really like sheerer blacks every now and then especially if they have like an undertone like green blue pink purple all that good stuff uh the only lippy i got from this collection was violetta really really pretty magenta kind of purple lip color i don't know what it's gonna look like on camera like my hair always looks blue on camera even though it's a little tiny tint of blue but it's more purple anyway my camera always makes things look really blue and stuff but anyway um really pretty purple lippy um my, you might notice that mine's in a regular tube this is available at the pro store like year round so if you don't get it with this collection uh you will be able to get it at, the, at a pro store or you know they will they usually promote this a couple times a year so yeah Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, you'll notice I didn't get anything from Cruella DeVille or Dr. I think it's Felicier. I'm really bad at pronouncing that. In fact, I actually did get something from Dr. Felicier. I just haven't picked it up yet. I was able to pick everything else up early, but the Truth and Light powder I have to wait for until it actually officially comes out on Thursday, September 30th. But I do have a small sample of it, and um, I've had this for a couple weeks, and I just have to say, you guys, I'm kind of obsessed with this stuff. Um, I've been talking everyone's ear off that will listen to me about it. Uh, it's, a, it's a powder, but it's kind of like a liquidy powder, and... Temtalia kind of showed this on her video. It kind of moves weird when you shake it and it feels cold and wet when you apply it on the face. It's really, really cool. I wish they'd come out with this for this summer because, well, actually, it's really hot here in California, so maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm obsessed with this at the moment. It's really new. I've never felt anything like it, so it's really, really cool to me. And I don't know if they're going to make it permanent or not, but I really, 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 really hope that they do because I love this powder and I kind of want to buy a bunch of backups, but I bought a lot of stuff already. Also, I want to mention that it has kind of a glow to it, but it's not like a really sparkly, frosty glow. So if you want to get that kind of beautiful, luminescent skin, but you don't want the frostiness of like a mineralized, <laughs> a mineralized skin finish or something, this is perfect. I, I actually want to turn my mom on to this really, really bad. The only thing I will say about this is it does have kind of like a smell to it, but you don't notice it after like the first like second you put it on. You guys know I'm really sensitive to cosmetic smells and it really doesn't bother me. So I'm really excited. And I also didn't get anything from Cruella DeVille because uh, just nothing in her particular line really struck me as something I had to have. Whereas, I mean, I didn't really like necessarily like have to have this stuff, but I really wanted it. And there was nothing from Cruella DeVille. I kind of want that like nude lipstick, but I think I've spent enough money and I just need to pass on that. All right, you guys, so this is the beginning of the makeup porn. So I wanted to start out with this video of this here. This is the uh, Mineralized Shadow Duos. I used a makeup remover wipe to make my finger wet to swatch them. And then I kind of built up a couple of them, like the pink one more so than the others, but you can see that the the two on the outer corner are the ones that are the smaller ones inside the duos, the green and the purple, and they're the most sparkly. So I wanted to show you guys these live, and then everything else will just be pictures, okay? Cool. Now, I actually have something special. Are you close? Come here. We're gonna get close. It's a secret. I really need you guys to partner with me on this and not write any comments until I'm done saying what I'm done saying, okay? You got me? We're cool? Hands off the keyboard? Okay. It's not like, don't freak out or anything. I have something to give away. I purchased an extra My Dark Magic, which is the one that has the purple and pink. Uh, 
mineralized stuff. So I purchased one of those to give away to you guys. So if you would like to enter to win this, don't leave a comment below because that's not how you enter and I don't want people to find out about this giveaway unless they watch the video. I kind of alluded to the fact that I was going to have a prize or something on Facebook and Twitter but that's for like my I don't want to say more loyal fan base because that's not very fair if you don't have Facebook or Twitter, but like my core people that I usually communicate with the most, they typically find out about prizes and contests and stuff before I actually say something here on YouTube. So they kind of already have an idea that, that, that this is coming and uh, for everyone else you're finding about it just now, don't give it away! Please don't mention the giveaway or anything in the comments. I want for people to find out about it as they're watching it right now. So cool? We can do that? Okay, cool. Um, so if you do want to enter, I will have a link below to my blog where you can go and enter. It's going to be a really simple thing. Read the, the instructions very carefully because if you don't give me your YouTube username, then you can't win. That's no fun. So yeah, check out my blog to find out how you can actually win that little bad boy. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I want to say. So have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. And remember to be vintage or tacky, just be yourself. Bye.